So what have we been doing this year? Well, we got a new family member. Hi, Timmy. We always had two dog families, so we have replaced our beloved Bip with a new one, Tilly. So here's our frog bog. The frog bog. Year two of the frog bog. Here's Don putting the new chicken mansion together that he designed in this building. And many of you know that Don has been suffering with a disabilitating chronic illness for the past several years and he is now in remission and it shows. Um, yeah, we got some more chickens, um, so they need more nesting. Uh, I have a banty rooster, a little banty nesting pair. Gardens going this year. We've got a lot of uh, food forest things going this year. There's the main garden. We did uh, utilize some uh, black plastic, which has worked well for the garden this year in the meeting. So we've got some containers going in our native plant garden. But we're confident this year that we will be able to get some more systems in place, uh, planning more water features. I'm trying to get more self-sustainable as usual. It grows year by year. We have started our own small business. It's called Good Bones Revival. We're doing a lot of recycling repurposing, upcycling, designing. Uh, Don has semi-retired after being disabled. It had been a while since we have done an update about the land. Um, we did have goats. I did put some, uh, we had a herd of goats come visit and unfortunately that experiment did not work as well as we had been hoping. Uh, it grew right back. <laughs> so if we're going to sustain a goat uh, invasive plant remover, we're going to have to just have our own goats, which we're looking at. Um, because I did leave my job in the outdoors industry, um, I have a lot more time to be working on the land. But in the meantime, I'm also going back to Scotland to visit with um, Andy and Gabs and see how their systems are going. So I will be putting some of that up here and on TikTok. Um, we have a lot of rain this year. Um, so that's been really nice. Uh, we have a lot of moss, a lot more moss this year, but less mushrooms, which doesn't quite make sense to me, but we're still learning our land and the forest and the seasons. We didn't have as many raspberries. Uh, actually, there are wine berries. We didn't have many of those this year, even though it was a wetter year. So something we need to think about for the future. Yeah, otherwise we've got all kinds of new systems going in. First thing is the upgraded hen house, as you can hear. We are very glad to have Don back to feeling better. Um, I wish I could say the same for me. Uh, I have been down with injuries for the past month. I'm able to walk now, so that is progress. And yeah, so just enjoy some of these next few videos, uh, which will be the sights and sounds of the forest and what we got going on. Hey, so we have an increase in chickens this year. We bought some pullets and we have one up getting a little rooster in there too. And uh, the house we had was too small. So I had to go build it. And this is a four by eight and it's based on a scene I saw on YouTube. It's kind of taken off of that. And uh, yeah, 
Looking forward to it. It's got a lot of. How do you feel? Huh? How do you feel? I feel good about it. No, I mean overall, how's your health? Oh, overall my health. You know, I still got to take breaks. Like my heart's pounding right now. So you've learned how to <clears throat> pace, pace, and manage your disability yes. as well. But you're feeling better, obviously. Mm-hmm. Because it's been a while since you've been on camera. Yes. So you're feeling better. I'm much better. <laughs> no longer have the big TV. Don't have tuberculosis. Nope. Don't have cancer. Still with fighting with Cushing. Fighting with Cushing. So I keep telling him to watch his arms because that's one of the things Cushing's does to you. But it makes him look rugged. Rugged. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The chickens, thank you. Now, what's new about this chicken house versus... That one's just small enough for, just for the four of them. And this one looks like way, way, way bigger. It is like probably three times the size, but it's higher. I put it where there's a door in here where I can sweep out the inside, just right into a wheelbarrow. And yeah, because we had some raccoons who came through and uh, ate all three of their siblings. So yeah, yeah. we got to get them a safer place. So that's what this is all about. And I have a door on that end that goes right into that open cage. Um, the back has screen. I have about a couple of windows that are going to go in here. And the box, is gonna, the laying box is going to go here in the front. Nice. So we can just walk right up. Yikes. Yay! Well, thank you. It's making it easier for me. And uh, how did I injure myself? Finding where the chicken coop. There's no fence, you see. And I like to just hop fences. And so now, at least I'm walking now, huh? You're suffering the consequences. <sighs> we'll get a gate. Once we get the new house, and it's all going to be the yard's going to be redesigned. So, progress, progress. Chickens, chickens. And of course, there is Mo. And again, here's our new baby. Say hi. Hi, I'm Tilly. Hi, I'm Tilly. Oh, hello. Hello, Tilly. End of summer. Oh, look at all the butterflies. Kevin sees all those butterflies. Kevin is our special needs asthmatic cat. Everyone has seen better days. Or it's seen Mr. Kevin before. One crop I'm really um, loving and impressed with and probably going to keep in my greenhouse all winter is my shishito peppers. They're like, do it, they've been producing early, often, almost daily. Do I have fresh shishito peppers? I love shishitos. Let's go see what they look like. Look at how beautifully, and they're just prolific. Easy pollinators, super easy to grow. Really my, my favorite new plant in the garden this year. This is a blue corn. It's from, um, my aunt got it, I believe from an indigenous seed bank here in Virginia. So I'm excited to see what the blue corn does.